Hey yo, fish folk, we got a lot of new fish to show you in this one. So as you all know, I just recently got some uh, blue diamond platinum angels, three to be precise, and uh, liked them so much, uh, me and the fiance decided to go in and get three more. And they got some friends with them. But wait, there's more. We also finally got some tank mates for Frozone, our white crown tail beta here. Where's my super suit? So we'll go ahead and uh, call this the first ever unbagging video. Very excited to show you guys these fish, so thought I'd also give some tips about like how I acclimate the fish, and if you're a new fish keeper yourself, maybe this might give you some tips as in uh, how to acclimate your fish and slowly introduce them to the tank. Obviously, this should be only considered for freshwater. Don't do this method with, uh, say, brackish fish or uh, saltwater fish. So thing number one I do, as soon as the fish get home, as I keep the fish in the bags, do not put them in the tanks right away. With the fish still in the bags, I rest the bags in the water of the tank that I'm going to house them in and just let them sit for about a half hour, 45 minutes or so. This way the temperature of the water inside the bags can slowly uh, get close to what the temperature is inside the tank itself. This is also nice because they can kind of see through the bag of what their home is going to look like. Thus they can maybe scout out some hiding places as soon as you let them into the tank and such. And yeah, it just kind of gives them a chance to look around and kind of get used to their surroundings. That and for the fish that are already living in the tank, it kind of gives them a chance to scout out their new and upcoming tank mates. On a side note, if the fish are really picking at the water or seemingly look like they're about to go at each other, it can also sometimes imply whether or not if this is giving you some red flags, as in whether or not this uh, chemistry between the fish that are already living there and the new tank mates you're trying to add is gonna work or not. Notice as my bags are acclimating, I have them nice, snug, and secure. You don't want them bumping around, thus stressing out your new fish. So after they've sat in the tanks for whatever amount of time that you want them to, make sure though it's not too long, make sure it's not too short. I usually do mine at least a half hour, sometimes 45 minutes. I personally wouldn't go too much over, but in the end, it's more so about what you're comfortable with and what you think is gonna get you the best result with your fish. Let's get these guys in their new home. Here's the fish, here's the scissors, here's the sink, and the net dangling over the top of it. Now, we got a big net here. In fact, the bigger the net, the better. You want more of a range for your fish to fall in. And as I cut the top of this uh, bag here, I want to slowly pour it in there. And as you slowly pour it in there, try to see if you can gradually sneak the opening of the bag towards the inside of the net. That way your fish don't have to fall a long ways when you put them in the net. You don't want to put the water that's here in the bag in your tank as well because with the fish swimming around in it for a while, just putting waste in the water and all that, you don't want to put it in there as it could have higher nitrates and nitrates and even ammonia levels that could be harmful to your tank's ecosystem. As I said, you just get the bag close to the net, start slowly dumping the water in, and start working the bag to the net, and get them on into the net, and there you go. Set them in there for a hot minute, get their bearings back and just tip the net over and when they're ready they will leave.
we go, the gang's all here. So as we wrap this baby up, let's go ahead and meet the fish here. So as I said earlier, got three more blue diamond platinum angelfish, thus bringing the platinum angelfish total up to six. We also got two Pinoy uh, veil tail angelfish, thus bringing the total angelfish count into this 40 gallon breeder up to eight. And while the Pinoy veil tails are a little bit bigger than these platinums, they don't seem to be picking on them. Everyone's getting along just fine in here. Of course, once everyone gets bigger and we start getting mated pairs and such, these guys will start getting a little more temperamental and aggressive, thus unfortunately we'll have to break up the group, which is kind of sad because there is something to be said about a decent sized group of angelfish in one tank. Speaking of beautiful things to look at, let's check out Frozone and his tank mates here in the 20 gallon. Here by the Horn War are three of his tank mates right here, Black Emperor Tetras. These guys don't get very big, these guys only get about a uh, two inches once full grown, maybe about two and a half. And especially in a planted tank like this, I think just that blue eye that they have, and once they get bigger, it'll be more easily seen. But in their tail fin, they kind of have a, what looks like a trident. These are definitely one of my favorite Tetras of all of them out there. Joining Frozone and the Black Emperor Tetras are three glass bloodfin Tetras. These guys, are get about the same size as the Black Emperor as well. Maybe a little bit smaller. They probably more max around closer to an inch and a half. And so far it is made out for a very amazing tank. Minus the limestone drips over here. Another day, another fun time to be a fish keeper. If you like the new fish or some of the tips here that I gave you in terms of how I acclimate my fish, give this video a thumbs up. And if one of these new fish stood out to you, or you got a favorite of the new group, Go ahead and tell me which one it is in the comments below. And if you like what I do overall on this channel, consider clicking the subscribe button to stay in the loop with everything I do, from new fish such as this, to projects in which I showed you in recent videos, to upcoming fish store visits as well as public aquarium visits, and much more coming. Thank you for watching this video, and until the next one, Fantastic Freak out.